This used to be one of the main walking streets in Patong. It's called the Walking Street. You have Aussie Bar, you have Moulin Rouge, Jack Daniels, Bar Funk, Laser Tag, McDonald's, and all the shops are shuttered. And this is essentially what COVID has done to Thailand, especially Phuket, where there are no tours. It is so quiet, it's incredible. I can just imagine what it'd be like if it was booming. That the street would be filled with people. And now you have... Wow, that place is open. Oh! There's a motorbike coming, very over. I saw a tourist, he was white on a motorbike. It's crazy how COVID has affected Phuket, everywhere really, but Phuket and Patong Beach are like, they're empty. It's pretty empty here. I think that rainstorm is tracking towards our boat. Although the wind's going that way, the rainstorm's going that way. Time to go. I think we better go back to our boat. Yeah, that, too. that is intense, dude. That is about the biggest, nastiest cloud I've seen in a long time. Like a long time, like long, long, long time. It's rotating, dude. Oh, okay. It's totally rotating. It doesn't look good. Can we get to our boat? Yeah. about these things they might completely pass you by they may also hit you so we're just gonna take everything down uh, probably put out some more chain and see what happens probably fine Who knows? What do you think, Ash? It looks nasty. Nasty. What do you think, Willa? and climbing. So the problem with this situation is that there's land very close behind us. It'll probably be fine, but it's, it's what's called a lee shore. So you're gonna get blown onto land and wreck your boat. Um, at least it's daytime. Usually these things happen at night. 
We'll just wait it out, see what happens. Hopefully we don't drag anchor. One of the other main things is cleaning up your boat so that no ropes get stuck in your props. Kind of neglected that today. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. <laughs> 20 countries later and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's going to happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. as long as there's dinner in front of her. <laughs> what do you think of the first squall in Thailand? You like it? That was worse than I thought. We were not ready for that. I guess her plate of food out already once because it was full of water. That's not too bad. Oh no, monkey got wet. <laughs> it's over. But I feel like a drowned rat. That was intense, man. I think I think the season's changing. Is that the start of the monsoon rains? I don't know. So Willa had a bit of a, you know, bath while <laughs> eating dinner. <laughs> but I think we'll go inside and mop up and uh, go to bed. We are so screwed. This little girl just figured out how to get out of our sunken cockpit and onto the first step and onto the second step. And she's figured out how to get onto the table. We need some baby netting all around the boat. If you look around our cockpit, it's actually sunken and it's worked out really nice because this this foot and a half height goes all the way around and she hasn't been able to climb up like this. So we've been able to plunk her down here. She can scream all she wants and complain if we're pulling into an anchorage or pulling on into a dock. But as of today, she's figured how to escape. And she's decided that <laughs> I'm just gonna make full use of it, throw shit overboard, <laughs> get back at us. And uh, she's pretty proud of herself. Well, uh, I don't think you should be up that high. No. Can you please come down? As any parent will know, this is this is the day you all dread. The day your baby can climb out of the cockpit. <laughs> Some people have said they've never did baby netting. Dude, I don't know. You gotta have eyes in like the back of your head. She is so fast. We're going with baby netting. You love laundry pigs. Laundry pigs are the best. Done with that one. I'm with dad shorts. <laughs> Are those dry? You want to fold them? Yeah, let's go back down here. Can we go back down there? What's happening, Ben? Uh, Aside we're, from the mess down there. We're running the water maker for the first time. And I thought uh, maybe I should read the manual. <laughs> Where's the manual? System operation. Let's start there. Do you think they're more guidelines or actual instructions? There's no water coming out now, so you got something going wrong. Apparently we're not supposed to use any water for the first 30 minutes because uh, it has microbial, antimicrobial stuff in it. That's good to know. Yeah. Our days often start with making fresh water. So this is our water maker right here. It actually just got installed a couple weeks ago, a week ago, I can't remember. Pretty simple. Um, you can maybe hear the engine running behind me, and that has a pump connected to it, a really high pressure pump. And then I just turn off the dial right here to force that pump to go through some membranes that are under the floor. It's a constant battle to have enough fresh water 
on board, both for drinking and doing laundry and everything else. Although we live in a saltwater pond, fresh water is still a commodity. Our particular water maker makes a lot of water. But check this out, I was just up here in the bow of the boat and looking out this little window. There they are. See them? So many little fish. Driving by Nui Bay, which is just around the corner from the bay we were in last night, and uh, it's gorgeous. The guidebook says it's reminiscent of 40 years ago in Phuket, and I can see that. I mean, there's still palm trees around, it's green, it's gorgeous looking. It looks like there's a small restaurant on the beach or a small little something. Hardly any development. We'll show you what it's in the next bay. It's what Phuket's like now. <laughs> This is my den, my editing den. It's not a drug den. Are those your underwear right there? No, oh, these are uh, shorts that I sweated in earlier. Is that true? This thing is an air conditioner. It's cooling off my computer. My computer is like having a hernia. Uh, this is a big fan that moves the air. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got a hose to drain the condenser water out, a little Tupperware to put it in, some towels to mop up the remaining condensed water. It's behind the scenes. It's, not, it's very different behind the scenes is what it looks like in the polished versions online. <laughs> this is like a total nightmare. <laughs>